So, my name is Michelle Creighton. Uh, welcome to UMass Amherst. Uh, I'm going to be showing you all of the highlights of the campus today. So, we're going to be starting at the visitor center because you're a visitor, apparently. And uh, I feel like we should start with some facts. <laughs> uh, let's see, there's 30,000 kids here now, I think, approximately as well. Prepared. It's a very colorful university, I have to say. <laughs> in my personal opinion. So, get ready for the tour. Alright everyone, so this is Southwest. This is the stereotypical UMass area of UMass itself. This is where you find all those party bros, party girls and stuff. Um, it's a lot of gym people, a lot of basics, that kind of thing. Always some weird shit going on around here. Like a couple years ago when they had the, or maybe one year ago when they had the clown thing. That there were people running around here trying to find it. It's party central, it's always noisy. It's, it's just wild to be honest. This is... Okay, so this right here is Hamp Dining Hall. It is said to be the healthiest dining hall on campus. It also is the best selection of food, I would say. But it's mega confusing because it's shaped like a circle. So this is the Berkshire Dining Commons. This is said to be the best dining hall on campus. Always has consistently good food, especially. And it's my particular favorite when I'm high, so. I like to say that their pasta is really, really good. Um, their meats and fries and stuff is always really good. Always crowded though. I don't think there's ever been a time where it's like, there's not a lot of people there. Um, definitely a good place to be. Always loud, always popping, just like Southwest is. So this is the UMass Rec Center. This is where all your muscle heads and pretty girls go. Um, everybody wants to obviously be in shape and work off of the calories that the munchies and or alcohol brings. Um, for some reason, we have a multi-billion dollar school and the gym is still not big enough to fit all of the people that actually want to go to the gym. There's people are always fighting over machines and shit. Um, there's three basketball courts that always have to play full court basketball, even though there might be people who want to play basketball not full court, but it's fine. Um, there's also really overpriced shakes with protein in them here as well. And um, as you can see in the background, we spend all of our tuition money on pretty lights because that's what really matters. The Whitmore Administration Building. Um, there's literally nothing relevant inside here, except this is probably where the offices are that you should probably go to get some shit figured out during the year. That is really fucking annoying. Um, there's also some other kinds of things in there. There's a really cool courtyard. And um, this is where you go to get your U-car replaced and it's super fucking overpriced. And a, not necessarily a waste of time, but it's definitely a waste of money because they overcharge you for everything here. And yep, that's the Whitmore Administration Building. So behind me we have Herder Hall. This is where a lot of the language classes and anthropology classes and all that kind of stuff happens. Um, it's very, very old. It's one of the really gross and kind of gucky buildings are like with the old desks that are attached to the chairs and stuff. It's like one of those buildings. Um, they have a lot of flyers and stuff that have to do with like study abroad and things like that. That's where you can go to find out some of that stuff. And then next to it, we have the Fine Arts Center, which is where um, a lot of the concerts and music kind of stuff happens on campus. Um, there's a like, big concert hall in there. It's pretty cool. It's like a lot of games and stuff. And then there's a structure thing. Take 
here we have one of our famous tank squirrels. Um, they are crazy. Uh, you can see these crossing your path on your way to class. Sometimes you can see them fighting and jumping around with each other. There's a lot of really diverse squirrels here as well, um, in case you were wondering. You know, in case that was one of the questions that you had. But Now this is normally in the warm weather a hub for people. It looks like everything that you would ever see in any college brochure ever. Um, normally there's a ton of geese, but of course it's gotten super cold out so you can't really see them at this point anymore. It's just a really nice place to be. I don't know, whenever I sit by the pond it's just a nice place to think. Um, maybe throw some frisbee bro or something like that. Um, and it's probably one of the most photogenic places. There it goes. It's about that fucking time, apparently. What does that say? Like 3:05? Oh my god, 4:05? What? A All right, this is our lovely sink panel with the wall and such. I'll be walking inside. So this is our campus store. You can easily spend $80 here. I don't think I've found an article of clothing under $25. And it's also attached to a blue wall as well. There's the blue wall. See, they weren't even kidding about the blue wall. Okay, so here we have the UMass Student Union. This is where a lot of events are hosted on campus. There's bands sometimes that play here. They also have People's Market, which is the best coffee on campus, apparently. It's also super cheap. Um, there's a lot of resources here as well. There's the off-campus student housing place. There's the paper copy and design. There's all sorts of different stuff that go on here. And we also, in light of our recent meningitis outbreak, had our vaccination station here. Um, so yeah, we were famous. CDC was here. Stock on every campus should say, right? If you don't know what these two buildings are, these are the on-campus, technically off-campus frat houses. In more recent news, they have gotten in trouble for having some kids' ear bitten off, um, and they were, until recently, on sanctions for their violent parties and such. Um, just avoid them unless you're drunk. <laughs> okay, so this is the Studio Arts Building. And that is the design building right over there. Now these buildings are dedicated to all the art students here. And they're super state of the art, super, super nice. See kids working in there until early, early in the morning. Actually, sometimes even super late at night. Um, I've only been outside a couple of times, but from what I gather, they are fucking awesome. A lot of it is lab. Um, I'm convinced that whoever made plans for this building or whoever designed it or whatever is absolutely obliterated, smashed, or whatever. It's fucking confusing. The buildings aren't even in the order that they're supposed to be. Um, I know it's very science y but there's some science classes even though I'm taking some of these things out there, but honestly, just fuck this fucking building. It's a great thing, not in common. It is not the best center on campus, but also not the worst. Like I said with Worcester, it all depends on who you ask. I personally think they have the best surf aisle on campus, and there's one particular guy who knows how to add just the right amount of spice. Um, it is super confusing because there's two sides, and it doesn't really have any rhyme or reason to which side is which, but you get kind of confused because there's drinks on either end of the square. So you do have the potential to get lost. Uh, there's also grilled cheese, and no other dining hall has grilled cheese. Just, I mean, I don't know if that's really a highlight, but I think that's personally pretty freaking sweet. Um, I also think that this is the dining hall where you will see the most colorful groups of people on campus. All right, and here we have University Health Services. And if you go here, you know that this is kind of a fucking shit show. I'm convinced it's a Ponzi scheme, but that's, you know, every to each their own opinion. Um, it is a cesspool of germs, and if you go here while you're sick, you, you, you may end up sicker than you already are. Um, 
You'll also probably misdiagnose you, which they have for me twice, just as a heads up. So if you'd rather go to a CVS pharmacy, I'd probably recommend that. And um, oh, two highlights though: mm, free condoms and free STD testing. Hell fucking yeah! Comes in clutch when you really need it. That's all I'm saying. All right, everyone, so this is the central residential area. This is what we would consider the artsy-fartsy part of campus. Um, there's a very good mix of people, though, so, I mean, that's said very liberally, but um, there's also the central art wall, which kind of gives it its artsy vibe. The buildings are similar to the ones in Northeast, but I think they're a little bit newer, so they're a little bit nicer. Um, generally good vibes, to be honest here. And some even say that you can hear the acoustic guitar being played always in this residential area as well. Just a generally good place to be, but... Also, Green O Subs. Green O Subs is fucking bomb. That's all I'm saying. On my way to fucking No Hill, everybody. My calves kill. All right, everyone, so this is O Hill, and this is the hill that everybody talks about. So, it usually smells like weed up here. Um, obviously, in this cold weather, the stoners have gone into hibernation season, myself included. Um, o Hill, if you live in O Hill, it usually means that you have wicked nice calves because the hill's a pain in the ass as I just walked up, and to be honest, I was kind of breathless even after just walking. And it also makes you super sweaty, whether or not it's 20 degrees out or 80 degrees out, um, because it's so fucking steep. Um, there's Sweets and More here, which is uh, a non, it's student run, I believe, and they make the dopest shakes, and they're open until like 12 p.m., so usually you'll chill out on the hill over here, and then head right inside for a nice little sweet treat. I'm surprised it doesn't smell like pot now. All right, so now I am approaching the city of Broad Building from the side though. So this is essentially where you go if you need help with your study abroad stuff. It is painfully irritating to even, for first of all, to even find the building. And second, everyone in here is useless. I mean, the people that have gone on study abroad will give you pretty decent advice, but any of the people who are there to, to actually help you are basically useless. So best of luck trying to get your shit together because I basically did everything myself and that's what you're probably gonna end up doing too if you decide to go study abroad. I say it ain't worth it. Just figure it all out yourself and then get their approval last, to be honest. All right, and that's the City Abroad Building. Construction on a college campus? How could that possibly be? All right, everyone, so this is Durfee Conservatory. This is a great place to come chill out inside or outside. It's a great place to honestly just forget. Um, it's You can do your homework here, you can sit and relax, you can do whatever you want. Inside is gorgeous, I'll show a little clip in there, but I don't want to do any talking just in case there's anybody studying. Um, it's a good place for a sunny afternoon if you're just looking to kind of relax and forget about all the bullshit that you have to deal with. Um, it's basically just a greenhouse with a lot of really nice plants and just a good vibes all around. Shit, where'd it go? Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Ah, I lost it. Okay, so this is the mostly dining hall. This is where they must make the best Asian food on campus. Uh, it is also one of the dining halls, or what kids tend to say is one of the worst dining halls on campus. Um, it honestly depends on the, uh, in my personal opinion, it has some good days and some bad days, depending on what the menu is. 
and some highlights are that it has no ventilation and it's mildly, actually let me say mildly, it's mildly irritating to be honest. Alright, so this is the Integrated Science Building. This is a building where most of your general science classes will do the big lectures and such. Um, there's a lot of labs in here, a lot of offices, many people doing um, very sciencey work. Um, it's a really cool building to explore. It's also really nice if you're looking for a spot to study that isn't completely dreary and depressing. Um, and there's also a really cool cafe in there as well. Working hard or hardly working, am I right, ladies? Alright, so now I'm going to be taking you to the northeast residential area. It looks very similar to Sylvan with the brickwork and dingy windows. Um, now this is where most of the science and math people on campus will be staying. Um, it's a lot, also where a lot of the international students are on campus. Uh, there, so if you if you need any homework help, this is probably where you're gonna want to go. Um, to be honest, it's not a bad place to live, but it's also not great. It kind of feels like jail on the inside. I remember when I stayed there for orientation, it just was not like the best place I want to be. Um, so yeah, this is where you are going to live if you are a nerd. Okay, so here we have the North Apartments. They are essentially um, multi-year housing. Until I started living here, I had no idea what was here. Um, it's super nice, but it's expensive as dorm furniture to be honest. And depending on who your roommates are, it could be lit or it could be shit. Alright everyone. So this is Sylvan, so this is one of the multi-year housing um, or residential areas on campus. Um, this is actually a little dream store to die. Uh, it doesn't look terrible from the outside. It looks like old brick buildings. Um, it's just really dreary and like melancholy, I guess is the right word to use it. Um, it's very quiet and uneventful. Nothing really huge happens here. It's just the place where all your stuff stays. Um, what's really cool, uh, actually one of the highlights though is the Southern Tax Bar. I'm pretty sure they have goat food. Um, and essentially one of the reasons why this is such a sad place to be is because it's isolated from like honestly everything. And um, I know that there's a lot of people who live here and everybody's like, I just want to get out of here. Um, 